health. Today we're here in New York City and we have your health tip and your muscle testing tip. We're going to be here with David Elzey for your health tip and then we're going to give you your muscle testing tip. Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and today we're here in New York City with my friend and colleague David Elzey. David is an author, trainer, and coach and he's presented for more than 250,000 people. And uh, he's here with us today for your body, mind, spirit, health tip. Hi, Andrew. Hey. <laughs> In context of what many of you know Andrew already, Andrew and Melanie are already about, there's this uh, context of body, mind, health, which actually is a holistic approach to well-being. So there's no area that's left behind. The area that I've been looking at my entire life, and as a teacher and author, is the area of how the mind creates uh, illusory obstacles, obstacles that aren't real and yet that we live by. So it would look something like this. If you feel like you're not good enough or your body's not the right height, shape, or color, these perceptions that we have, judgments basically, create an, a wall or an obstacle to us moving forward towards what we desire in life. So if I wanted to meet you or begin a business relationship with you, I'd like to move forward and just make that happen. But what happens is something in the brain says, a little thought, right? A little synaptic event mm -hmm. happens that says, I'm not good enough, I'm not ready, I'm not perfect, I'm not right not rich enough, not whatever, enough. And that little thought creates the illusion of a wall that keeps me from moving forward. So to demonstrate that physically, I can't move forward because you can see this is very, you can see it, can't you? Very real. But it's not really there except I've created it. I've self-created it. So you're holding in mind, you and almost all of us on the planet, holding in mind the obstacle that keeps you from moving forward. So it looks very real. See? And yet when we discover it, we really realize that I just made that up. So on some level, if I actually choose to let go of holding it up, it's not there. And I can actually move forward. My body can be opened up from the fear quality that it has, which restricts capillaries and blood flow and mineral health of the body. And so when you open up and let go of the obstacles, you actually open up to moving forward and being healthier in mind, body, and spirit. So great. That was our health tip for the day. I, I don't know how to do that. It's not very hard, but you just put your face through the wall, which is good. It means that it's, it's a very thin veil that you can walk through. <laughs> that your mind creates or your mind chooses to let go of. So, thanks a lot for being here, David. My pleasure, Andrew. Thank you. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about David and his work, you can find out about that at davidlz.com. The last name is spelled E-L-L-Z-E-Y. So, davidlz.com, and I'll see you there. Thanks. Okay, so your muscle testing tip for this week is another basic tip. Again, we share with you basic tips and advanced tips here at MuscleTestingTV.com. And this tip today is a basic tip. It's part of our 21 muscle testing do's and don'ts that we teach in our live workshops and seminars and that we have in our home study course. So one of the things that we find that some people tend to do is when they go to muscle test, it's, uh, instead of pushing straight down, which is what you do want to do, somehow they'll wind up pushing into the body or pulling out from the body. And we call this kind of the stick shift feeling. Because what happens is, for the person being tested, they can't actually tell what's accurate because they're feeling this kind of pushing and pulling thing and it feels like a stick shift on a car. So the tip for today is, when you test, make sure that you're pushing straight down or your line of drive or your angle of force is perpendicular to the person's arm. So if I'm pushing, if I'm testing with David, bring that arm down just a little bit, there we go. Then bring that, make sure you're straight, bring it right here. Okay, now hold strong, I'm gonna push, hold strong. Okay, so my focus is pushing straight down towards the floor or perpendicular with this arm, hold strong. And what happens is, if you start to push the arm into the body, I'm approximating the joint, I'm approximating this shoulder bone, the humerus, into the shoulder socket. So watch what happens. If I push his arm into the socket, if I compress, now hold strong, I'm pushing kind of into his body, I can push really hard and it's going to stay strong. Now I'm going to kind of distract that arm, okay now hold strong, hold, and already what happened is if I even put a little bit of traction as I'm testing, what happens is it distracts the humerus, it distracts the shoulder joint, and neurologically, the brain and the body shuts down these muscles because it's trying to protect the shoulder from injury. So it's very subtle. 
And it's really important to make sure that you're not pushing in or pulling out, that you're just pushing straight down or perpendicular to the arm. Okay? So that's your muscle testing tip for this week. Thanks a lot, David, for being our demo. No pleasure. And remember, you are the source of your own happiness. I'm Dr. Andrew Collier. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.